In the figure, we have point A and point B determine the length of AB. So to determine length, we use the length formula. Or you might think of it as a distance formula, distance and length, same thing. So the dis the, well, let's call it the distance. I prefer that. Uh, I know most of you do as well. So we're going to go AB is the square root. And then this formula goes, we take the x value of the one point minus the x value of the other point. And then we do the same with y. Okay, so now you just go fill in your formula. Super, super easy. You see how it has brackets? So let's keep the brackets. So it says take the x value of point b. Okay, that's 4. Then it says minus, so we put a minus. And then we must minus this one, so we just put minus 5. Then we're going to take the y value of point B, which is this one. Then it says minus, and then we're going to minus this one. Then you can just go type that in on the calculator exactly as you see it. Please don't change anything. Even when you see two negatives here, put the two negatives on the calculator. Now, if you do this correctly, we should end up with square root of 97. And if you round that to two decimals, it'll be 9.85. And then you could just say units. So 9.85 units. This one says determine the coordinates of the midpoint. Okay, so midpoint, we use a capital M like that. And the formula is, so with this one, you typically you're just going to add the x values together. So it's the x value of point A plus the x value of point B divided by two. And then it's the y value of point A plus the y value of point B divided by two. And so now we just go fill in the formula. So it says we take the x value of point A, which is minus 5. Then the x value of point B, which is 4. And by the way, don't be so worried about like, should we put A first? Like for example, over here, should we put A first or B first? And over here, should we put A first or B first? It doesn't matter. As long as if over here you chose A, then you must choose A over here. And then if you chose B first over here, then you must choose B first over there. So just make sure that um, you keep the pattern the same. Um, where are we? Divide by 2. Okay, now we're going to take the y value of point A plus the y value of point B divide by 2. Okay, so this you can go work out on your calculator. You should eventually end up with um, negative a half. And then this one you actually just end up with 0. So the coordinates would be negative a half and 0. This next one says determine the gradient. So gradient we use a small m. And we're going to say the gradient of AB. And now we're going to use the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You know this one, y2. But now because we're using A's and B's, um, you don't have to do it like this. I just, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. We're just going to rather do that. And you see how I started with uh, B? You don't have to. You could have started with A. It doesn't matter. And so let's go fill that in. So the y value of point B, negative 2. The y value of point A is 2, the x value of point B is 4, and the x value of point A is minus 5. Go ahead, you can just type it in on the calculator. You would get negative 4 over 9. This last one says, point A undergoes a transformation to become the new point A with a little line, such that the gradient of the line, this new A to B, becomes undefined. Describe the transformation. Okay, so let's talk about it. Um, they're telling us that point A is going to move. And wherever it moves to, it's going to become A with a little line, okay? So they said that it's going to move to such a place that the gradient of the point A with a little line, so the new A, B, will become undefined. What is undefined? When a line, okay, so let's, when you have a line that is horizontal, we say that the gradient is zero. But when you have a line that is completely vertical, we call this undefined. Okay, so that means that this A is probably going to move somewhere over here, so maybe there, or it could even end up moving somewhere down here, so it could be over there. So that when you connect A, the new A to B, just like they said over here, they said that that gradient will be undefined. So you see how it's a vertical line like that. 
Now to try to figure out what it or which one it does, remember they said that it undergoes a certain transformation. So what you need to read there is that it's only going to do one thing. So it's not going to move a little bit down and a little bit to the right or a little bit up and a little bit to the right. It's only allowed to do one thing. So the only way you could do this is to move it there. So it's going to end up going over there. And then this will be the new A with a line. And then you can see that that line there would be completely vertical. So it would have a gradient that is undefined. So how would you move it from here to here? Well, think about what the X value is over here. Look at this dot. Can you see it as an X value of four? So because this dot is directly above it will also have a grade uh, X value of four because it hasn't gone left and it hasn't gone right. So it must have the same X value. And then the Y value would have to be exactly the same as this one because it hasn't gone up and it hasn't gone down. It's only gone sideways. So it must share the same Y value. So this would be the new coordinates of um, A. So they said, describe the transformation. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to move it horizontally to the right. Okay, so we're going to move. Now, um, how many units are we going to move it? Well, notice that this value doesn't change. So we're not going to look at that. But you see how we're going from negative 5 to positive 4. How far is that? From negative 5 all the way to positive 4. You need to maybe just take some time and think about that, but that is nine units because you're going all the way from, like on a number line, if you have minus five and then you have four and then you have zero somewhere in between, just going from there to there is already five and then going from there to there is already four. So five plus four is nine. So we're going to move nine units horizontally to the right.